Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another fusion video. Today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about how to work the lower body. Now, standing exercises are fantastic, not only just in mat class, but also for your private clients or to warm up before or after an equipment class. And obviously, you know, all of the work that we do laying down on our belly or on our side, we want it to translate to our upright standing position because this is how we move around all day. So let's talk about calf raises. So what I've done is given Jen a dowel uh, for balance. Some people will need it, some people won't. Some people will actually need more than this. So a hand on a wall is really nice um, to help stabilize the body because we want them to be able to move through their bones with ease um, and then we can practice honing the balance later. So we want to set Jen up really nicely to find a great calf raise. And when you ask your clients to do this, a lot of times they'll just set themselves up how they usually stand, typically turned out, and they'll want to just pop up and down. Well, we know that we want to roll through the first ray of the foot, which is the space in between the first and second toe joint here, because essentially this is really where we want to move through and gait. So this is training that. So Jen has this nice parallel foot position. It's almost like her heels are hiding behind her second toes. Now, I want to do a little bit of a, a prerequisite exercise just to get her body engaged and stacked up nicely. So Jen, I want you to bend your knees slightly here. Good, just to here. And I want you to feel like you're feeding the back of your calves, yes, even better, into Oh, look at that. And the minute I had Jen loosen her uh, connective tissue, I see there's something interesting going on with this, right? Like, Jen, let me have you move this heel out a little bit more, even a touch more. Bingo. I know it feels a little awkward, but find that first ray here. Good. Now, Jen, I'm going to have my hands here, and I want to see, can you straighten your femurs on top of your tibia without jamming your knees behind you? So your pelvis is going to start traveling, yes, even more forward with that sacrum. Ah, almost like you're leaning into the wind like a ski jumper. There you go. Let's show that again. Bend the knees just to there. Excellent. Feel like you're lengthening your Achilles and move your sacrum forward onto your tibias. Nice. And what we've done, you can see Jen's really on top of her body and this might be just enough work for your clients. Now we're going to challenge her a little bit more. I want you to take a deep inhale, feel this alignment. And on your exhale, can you lift the heels up? Find the first ray and then all the others and feel as if your heel is elevating your pelvis crown of the head. Beautiful. Take an inhale here. Very nice, Jen. Now on the exhale, can you keep your pelvis on top of the center of your foot as you lengthen your Achilles down? Rolling through the first ray. Beautiful. Excellent back body activation. Inhale here. And again, I want you to feel like your elevating heels lengthen the crown of the head. So we're cueing her uh, bottom end and top end. Very good. Look at all of that work. Beautiful. Inhale. Now keep your center of gravity right where it's at, but lengthen your heels away. This is activating all of her fascial sling system to help stabilize here. Pretty hard focus work. Jen's doing a beautiful job. Rest for a moment, shake it out. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't feel like the place that you would typically, if I were just to ask you to do calf raises, move from. Things that you wanna look for when they're doing calf raises is to make sure that the knees are nice and supple. So that means that they're not locked out. They almost have that little bit of a secret bend. And as you watch them do this, you can even step away a little bit and you can see some of the breakdowns and movement. And we know that that's where things are starting to kind of pull apart in their forward gait and in the exercises on the mat or the equipment. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.